Welcome, this is Shakti, your online astrologer, and online because I'm living on Maui, so which is a very small island, so I'm doing 80% of my astrology reading work online and mainly through Skype. So um, I'm very passionate about astrology and I believe that 100% preparation and a high wisdom perspective really goes a long way and equals a lot of success in our life. So this is what I'm doing when I'm giving these forecast videos and especially the moon astrology has a special place in my heart because the moon is so connected. The moon is representing the heart, our feelings, our inner world and how we represent the outer world, how we filter that into our uh, perception. And this is where, in this cauldron, uh, where we come up with decisions and where we go into specific new directions in our life. So our emotions really play a big role. And uh, whenever we uh, have good emotions, we can say we're on track. And the so-called bad emotions are kind of uh, a red light to let us know that we have to do some corrections. So more you know about the, the general moon cycle around the zodiac and uh, the next step would be how that plays out in your personal chart but just the general information will give you a lot of of information about why you might feel a specific way and help you to balance yourself out in a beneficial way so i hope you will have fun go over to my powerpoint presentation and uh, you will find the more specific recommendation I have for you and so you want to hang in there till the end and I see you over there. Welcome to my PowerPoint presentation. This is Shakti again and I am an evolutionary astrologer. That means that I'm always interested to look through the astrological lens uh, from the perspective of your soul. What helps your soul to flourish? What helps you to grow? I'm also a published author with Levellen and my book is an introduction to astrology and how you can use gems and jewelry to balance inner aspects of friction in your chart. So for some of you that might be of interest. Moon astrology teachings in general. So in general, if you like to balance and navigate successfully those deep inner waters of your inner world, of your emotions, then you want to learn about moon astrology. And uh, I'm usually doing one video for the full moon of the month and one video for the new moon of the month, which has very different implications. So, uh, yeah, check it out. This month is really special because we have two full moons and uh, they're both in Aquarius in one sign, which is kind of a, a rare event. And uh, I usually look into the time frame from uh, when the sun changes the sign. So it's always kind of around the 20th from the 20th to the 20th of the next month. So I look into which moons are happening in that time frame. So the first of the uh, full moons in Aquarius is happening on July 22nd. And it's at the very beginning of the sign, one degree. The second one is happening August 20th or 21st, depending where you are. At the end, at 28 degrees of Aquarius. So today I want to discuss with you, first of all, the to full moons in Aquarius and the uh, Aquarian personality and what that all means. Then we will talk about that this is another super moon, the first one of these full moons. Uh, so we will talk about what that means. And then as usual in general, how you can benefit and use those specific Aquarian energies to thrive and Ride the cosmic wave. I like this parable because uh, I live in Hawaii and this is how we do it. Not me, but uh, I have a lot of friends who surf and uh, it looks really fun to do. 
So this is the, sh the chart for the first full moon event on July 22nd. It happens exactly at 11.08 that the moon is in opposition to the sun who has just entered Leo. This is how the second chart looks like, uh, August 20th, 6.44 p.m. in San Francisco. And uh, here the sun is at the end of Leo and the moon is at the end of Aquarius, still opposing each other, still having the, the, the biggest amount of light coming from the sun and being reflected in the moon. Let's have a brief look here at the moon in your personal chart and what that means. So in your personal chart, the moon describes your inner moods, your needs. It's your heart, your soul. It's also your emotional filter towards the world. It is your driving need, what you truly need in order to feel safe and in order to be happy. So the moon is really our true source of joy and happiness. So it really helps to know uh, where your moon is in your horoscope and how that moon might get activated by the, the uh, moon going through the zodiac. I mean, the, the, the transiting moon is so fast, so it will always or often kind of connect with your moon and stimulate that inner world, those inner feelings. And sometimes we don't know what hit us. So we might have a, a specific moon opposing our natal moon. So it's just very helpful to, to become more knowledgeable about those connections between the transits, in this case, the transiting moon, and where our planets are in our chart. This full moon is a special one. First of all, it's again what we call a super moon. And it is the third one out of three super moons in a row. And then we have two full moons in the same sign. So, so that should give us a message of some kind. The universe wants us to learn a lesson about what Aquarius means. So it's something about integrating those Aquarian energies. So here briefly what a supermoon exactly is. A supermoon occurs when the moon is closest to the earth. And because of that, the gravitational pull is amplified on the Earth's crusts and uh, also on us as individuals, our individual psyche. So it impacts the electromagnetic field on the Earth. And because of that, it really affects the individual. So uh, don't be surprised when you do feel the supermoon stronger than a uh, usual full moon. In order to learn what we need to integrate this month, like all of us, we can look at the Aquarian people, the Aquarian personality who carry that in, in their chart, in their personality. So when we look at Aquarius, we look at a daring visionary, a revolutionary spirit, a rebel, a non-conformist. So, so these are all aspects to somebody which make him into an outsider. So the outsider whose role is to gather specific experiences outside the so-called consensual reality. And uh, that might not always feel good to be an outsider, to feel like you're different, you don't really belong. Hmm? So Aquarius is an air sign, not as many people think uh, a water sign. And it is ruled by Uranus, who is carrying this rebellious energies, the energies of change and evolution. So the Aquarian spirit is called to always step out of the old way of doing things, to step out of the box of comfortability. Uh, of habituation. So uh, part of the box is, of course, how we were conditioned and who we take ourselves to be growing up. 
and uh, the mainstream paradigm is what the Aquarian person has to to step further along the way. So they become actually one who who shape and create the next new paradigm of thinking. So Aquarius is the one who values independence and freedom, very important words for an Aquarian. Uh, they make good friends, uh, but they always need a little space. Even if they're in a relationship, you want to be very respectful for that. Of course, like every other sign, uh, Aquarius has a shadow, and the shadow can uh, show up as coldness and dissociation. It's happening when uh, there is, for example, trauma happening uh, and uh, you have the feeling you're not reaching into the, the inner world. You don't really feel the person through that outer wall of dissociation and coldness. Um, the last point here is what does the Aquarian personality need in order to, thri to thrive? And that has to do with overcoming the need for approval. So of course, if you are the outsider, if you are the forerunner, the role model, the one who, who uh, uh, is part of creating the next step in evolution, then you can't wait for the approval of your peer group. You are the one who guides and leads. To, to, so to come to that and find that power and strength, that's the Aquarian uh, uh, main intent. And for all of us, because we have so much Aquarian energies coming at us this month, these are all aspects I have describing we need to integrate as individuals. How can you ride the wave with Aquarian energies? and Aquarian projects, because obviously with two full moons in the Aquarian uh, uh, sign, there is a lot of Aquarian energies coming at us and want to be integrated for us individually. So the first question I like you to ask and pay attention to this month is how authentic do you feel? Do you speak your own truths? Or do you bend it to fit in and, and make good with somebody? So it's really a month to wrestle, wrestle with that sense of authenticity and uh, challenge yourself to really be strong, to, to express yourself more fully. And uh, the other side of that equation is to listen to your inner voice, to find that inner guidance from your higher self. And this is usually something what happens when we uh, uh, become still, when our mind can settle down, and then we can hear that faint inner voice of our higher self. So I would encourage you to make time for that, because this is where all your inspiration will come in from. So I always like that Sufi story. Uh, where the disciple was supposed to uh, tether the camels at night. And next morning, the camels were gone. And the master was actually really upset and scolded the disciple. And the disciple said, well, I prayed to God. And the master rolled his eyes and said, well, you pray to God and you tether your camel. And uh, I, I just love this story because it's like both. We need to take the appropriate steps. We need to to have plans and follow through on them and to pray to God and to have that connection to the divine guidance. So we are really this month uh, ultimately really receiving those high uh, inspirations, those, those higher dimensions of consciousness and want to integrate that into our daily life and uh, integrating higher consciousness in uh, how we do things. So another project is finding like-minded friends. Uh, when you have a lot of Aquarian in your natal chart, there is this sense of being an outsider, being weird, being too different. Maybe you are really genius, but uh, you don't have many people you can really talk to. So this month is really about making new friends, going out and connect with people who are in alignment with 
where you are and, and who you think yourself to be. So go out, make those connections. And then of course, there's always the, the area in our life we can't control. So part of the lesson in life is to change what we can change and to surrender to what we can't. Activities, uh, if you ever wanted to do skydiving, this is the month to do it. But everything where you move, where you run, every kind of aerobic activities, dancing, again, parachuting, so uh, just breaking the, the, the normal way you do things in the area of activities. So keep it moving. So there's always the question, how can we grow into a new level of success? which I believe has a lot to do with uh, what we experience as fulfilling and meaningful in our life. So just in general, there are tools we can use in order to focus, to uh, help us to keep the focus of whatever decisions and, and conscious step forward we are doing each month. So one way to do that is setting your intentions, and it's always good to write them down and then uh, to really uh, change them into affirmations and you want to have them at your mirror and, and around in your house so you are reminded. You can work the affirmations into collages uh, where you work with pictures you find in magazines and you, you use the, the, the visual dimension uh, as well to focus your, your mind and your consciousness. And of course, you can work with crystals because crystals are really very fabulous for carrying specific intentions and magnifying those. And then you can use any kind of object to set on your altar or I have a whole collection of stones here under my screen. And that will always help you to refocus onto what is important. And of course, the most important thing is to to take it easy, to, to have fun and to play with all the suggestions I'm giving you here. So overall, it's really about stepping out of the, the drudge of doing things the way you have always been doing them, stepping out of the box, trying out new things and be flexible. So have fun. If you haven't signed up for, for a subscription yet, now is a good time to do that. That will mean that you will be kept in the loop for any upcoming forecast uh, videos. And uh, usually the place is under the video there. I love if you leave me comments or questions and I promise I will get back to you. Uh, I always want to know what your specific interests are. And of course, please leave me thumbs up if you like my work, because that has to do with the ranking. So Google wants uh, you to interact that way. So if you like my stuff, please like me down there. This is me again. So this is how you can reach me for astrological readings. You know, I do online readings through Skype, which is actually a lot of fun to do. Uh, so you can reach me in Hawaii, 808 at 788182, or head over to my website, mauiastrologyreading.com, and connect with me. So I'm looking forward, and thank you for joining and hanging out with me, and I hope to see you soon again, and aloha!